नमस्कार माय नेम इज सुदर्शिल घोष वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम टीचिंग टिंकर कैड ऑन यूट्यूब वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ न्यू कनेक्शन टुडे यूजिंग द ब्रेड बोर्ड एंड वी आर गोइंग टू मैन्युफैक्चर द लाइट इंडिकेटर यूजिंग द ब्रेड बोर्ड सो लाइट इंडिकेटर मीन्स दैट विल बी टू एल ई डी वन रजिस्टर दर बी वन स्विच एंड दर बी वन बैटरी ऑफ कॉर्स सो लेट एस गो फॉरवर्ड एंड ट्राई टू क्रिएट आवर indicator so first of all always as a good practice here as you can see here is a working area on the left side and there is on the right side the various components are there we'll just collect the components first of all as a good practice so we'll collect the register we'll have the switch then we will use two leds one led here and another led here and then we'll use one coin cell battery we will then zoom in okay so our our objects our point here is look that when we put the led like this this connection is not going to work because the anode and the cathode are connected to each other they will be at the same potential therefore the current is not going to flow through the best method of connecting the led is on the second part of the breadboard as you can see here this column and this column are not connected to each other all right similarly i'm going to connect another led at this part of the breadboard all right now you can see what i'm going to do is i'm going to flip this led for the sake of convenience in connection all right so now we'll put the switch here again if i put the switch like this then what will going to happen all the terminals will be connected to each other this is not a good idea so therefore i am going to connect the switch at this particular point so we can see that now we have the leds the this is the cathode and this is the anode here and this is the cathode here and this is the anode here and the understanding is very clear that we have to connect the anode to the positive terminal of the battery and the cathode to the negative terminal of the battery so in order to make it convenient for us what we'll do is the we'll connect the positive terminal of the battery to this part of the breadboard here okay and therefore all the positive here has been shared the positive terminal of the battery has been shared across this row we can also do the same thing here and we'll try to put the negative terminal of the battery here so therefore the negative terminal has been shared throughout this particular row we can make this circuit a bit beautiful looking so therefore it's like this okay now let us try to connect the cathode with the negative terminal and we will need the resist the help of the resistor here so we are going to do this okay we are going to place the resistor like this why because i will need this part of the breadboard for me connection to the negative terminal so the cathode of the led has to be connected through the switch to the resistor and this resistor is going to be connected to the negative terminal so how do i make sure that it is connected through the switch to the led terminal so what i am going to do is we are going to use this particular column to this terminal 2 if you see terminal 2 is connected throughout here and we are going to take one click here and we'll put the cathode on this particular column so therefore what happened is the cathode is now connected to this terminal of the switch and it is going to the register and from the register we will take one connection and take it to this row where therefore what has happened now the negative terminal of the battery has come to this row and from this row it is going to the register and this register is going to this switch so the cathode here is connected through the switch to the register now similarly we are going to do the same thing here this cathode here is going through the switch and connected to this particular led now here is so cathode is connected to the terminal 1 of the switch here and cathode is connected to the terminal 2 of the switch here now the common terminal is connected to the register and what now we have to do is we are going to connect the anode to the positive terminal of the battery how can we do that we'll just have to take one connection from here 
and take it here okay and then we are also going to do this we are going to take in one connection from here and do it here so therefore what has happened the anode is connected through this particular wire and is connected to the positive terminal of the battery the anode again here is connected through the wire and connected to the positive terminal of the battery so now we let us learn the simulation we will start the simulation here and we can see as we can see here we just move the switch from here to there and we have our left and right indicator so in case we want to make these leds a bit glow a bit more so very simple we have to just change the resistance so instead of one kilo ohm we'll change it to 220 ohm just for the sake of a number okay we can make it 100 ohm also and we can let us try to do the simulation and the led has become a bit more more intense in terms of glow so let us stop our simulation thank you for attending this video shabakhair shubratri if you are new to my channel please share and subscribe please like please share please subscribe and of course bell icon please press the bell icon we'll stop the simulation here now